They're providing us with ample amount of laughter and giggles. So from what I can tell, it's looking like three male cubs and two females, um, which is very interesting. So the male that was in the background that we showed earlier, Jandre and I were chatting now, Jandre is pretty convinced it's one of the Birmingham boys, which would make sense. And as far as I know, they're a coalition of three. So now this group of uh, youngsters of the four, three are boys, and will most likely form a coalition themselves. But what is also an interesting thought to think about is we've got these young, young cubs, and then we've got the two sets of older cubs, also different ages. So it's entirely possible that the males, the majority males out of all of them will form some sort of super coalition. And the Sabi Sands is known for having very large coalitions of males that traverse. We talked about the Mapojos the other day, that uh, coalition of about six or seven males that sort of rampaged through the area. Chandra is giggling behind me, and yes, it's <laughs> super, super, super cute. So, other than the cuteness factor, the if, ev if all of these males survive, and I have yet to see the older ones move enough for me to be able to, to ascertain how many males and how many females, the concept that we could have a future super coalition of males within this area is absolutely fantastic in my, my head. Chandra, do you see the one that has a bit of bark there? <laughs> so, one of them has a bit of bark. Oh, it's just dropped and we was carrying it around. Sibling tried to come and take it away. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute and just let you all enjoy, <laughs> enjoy this. On these sticks that are here, these sticks that are here on the edge of the dam, are brush pack, <laughs> are brush packing the um, the the side of the dam wall so that no one drives up and down them, and also to help rehabilitate. There's there's quite a bit of erosion that's going on, and a lot of the uh, sticks that are being used are from knob thorns, and <laughs> so there's some serious thorns on there. So you got a little bit attacked and then decided to chew on it and then you saw it just there, it got stuck in his little lip. Or her little lip rather, that's the little little runt one. Here is your screenshot of the day with this uber cuteness. So full from having just nursed and busy resting his head and then the, the sibling that's behind him is sort of cuddled up and has a little paw on his back. Oh, he's just pushed him off. <laughs> oh, shame. Absolutely adorable. So... Um, the mum got up and moved off a little bit, and then one of the other adult females is also moving around a little bit. They're busy grooming each other. So they're definitely going to start moving soon. I'm hoping when they move, they go down for a drink. That will be lovely. We're actually going to have a sunset tonight, um, as opposed to some clouds. There's a fish eagle calling in the background. I don't know. Actually, it's not a fish eagle, sorry. I think it's a Wahlberg, so I'm losing my mind a little bit. Um, I don't know if you all could hear that. There's the spots we talked about earlier. That's a nice screenshot as well. That's super cute. Tristan also has some uber cuteness, albeit older uber cuteness. We're going to head over to him and give you all a chance to see Shadow's youngster. Oh. Here we are, mommy, I love you. 
I work with a lot of uh, very rugged, staunch men, and even the sight of this makes them say things like "Oka mudar" and cuteness. So it's not just my girly bits. Look, look, look. So Jandre is a staunch, manly man, and he's giggling with delight in the background. So all of this play, everything that we're seeing, the grooming, the playing, uh, with amongst the cubs and with mum, remember this is all reaffirming the social bond. Oh. So not only is she taking care of, not only will she groom, but this is, it's like when you wake up in the morning and you give your loved one a hug or if you have kids and you give your kids a hug, it's the same idea. Can we hear the sounds that, that the little one's making? Thank you. 